thank the entire East African community block of, of nations for their support and friendship. It is my firm belief that if we made good use of the help and good goodwill that the nations like the US, UK, EU, China, and others are extending to us, Kenya can emerge from the poverty and take its place among the economic powers. If we cemented and respected the ties we have with our neighbors, Kenya can cement its place as an economic powerhouse and grant, and grant of democracy in the region. But something stands between us and the future, which we desire. Corruption is killing our future. Tribalism is stealing our potential. Under the current regime, these two vices are officially sanctioned. The country is divided between people with the shares and those with no shares. Shame on them. Yeah. The corrupt are getting plum jobs and state protection, while those who try to stop corruption get arrested and arraigned on trumped up charges. In the case of KCP, indications are that NEC as an institution will be sacrificed to protect the cartels. I therefore wish to call on our development partners to partner with us in calling out the ills of corruption and tribalism and crippling, uh, that are crippling our country and making nonsense of the aid we obtain from abroad. The transformation of this country deserves requires a generation of leaders with the courage to confront and defeat corruption and tribalism and direct public resources to public causes without discrimination. We need a generation of leaders who stand firm on the solid rock of values and who can tell when the nation is taking the wrong turn. From where I stand and at my age, I know the country is taking a wrong turn when a 14-year-old when a child has to go to court to seek justice over KCP marks. Kenya is failing her children. I know the country is taking a wrong turn when workers take home only a third of their basic salaries, the rest going to taxes. When somebody told me that take my salary and give me the tax. I'm better off with the tax than the salary. <laughs> it is wrong when a person earning 50,000 